this. We're going we're gonna to sing that again. Sometimes I think we don't know where we're supposed to go. We say we do. All right. But then when something happens, it's, oh my Lord, what are we going to do? I'm guilty. I'll speak for me. I'm guilty. But you know, I was thinking when Sister uh, Daisy was up here talking earlier, I'll never forget it, November the 16th of 1988, I was at home in bed minding my own business, taking care of my children, doing what I was supposed to do. And the phone rang, and it was a police officer. He said, man, your husband's been in a really bad wreck, and you need to come to Livingston, Tennessee. I didn't know where Livingston, Tennessee was. I'm a Martinsville girl. I'm from Bucktown. said, you're going to have to come over here and stay with my babies. I got to go see what's going on. And I found it. And when I got there, he had clicked an 18-wheeler four times. And he was down at the foot of a mountain and some truck driver found him. That wasn't an accident. <laughs> that was not an accident. And they told me, said, honey, he's not going to live. The doctor told me, said, There's, he's not going to make it. And I looked at him. I'll never forget it. And for a split second, the tears began to flow. I got scared. But then I know that my Redeemer lives. All right. And I looked at him and he said, Honey, he's not going to make it. I said, Well, you don't know the God I know. Amen. And he said, Well, honey, if you know him, you better get in touch with me. And I said, I can do that. That's not a problem. And he told me, he said, He's not going to make it through the night. And long about the midnight hour, uh -huh. we begin to pray. <laughs> And you know, he, I don't mind telling you, even his own family left. They left the hospital, left me sitting there all alone. And a little lady from church got on her heart. She stayed there with me three days, eating that old nasty stuff out of candy machines and everything else. Never left my side. And we prayed and we prayed and we prayed. And that doctor come out and he's, oh, he's doing this, I love this. When they come out doing this, get ready. And he said, I have no idea what happened. But you must get touched that man you knew to told me about. I got a savior. And if you know that 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 God can fix it, you gotta stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So we're gonna sing this again. I want everybody to stand up. We'll hurt you, stretch your bones a little bit. Why don't you sing with me? It's real easy. God's gonna fix it, I know. God's gonna fix it, I know. Whenever my heart is broken. Whenever I'm feeling low, I don't have to worry because the master's in control. I just go to the problem solver. God's going to fix it. I know, okay? Well, God's going to fix it. I know. Oh, yes, God's going to fix it. 